what we have. This is about a three pound boneless, uh, it's got skin on and it's been jet netted. So they put the, this around the breast to help it hold its shape when you cook it. And I recommend leaving it on because it'll make for nice uniform slices. It keeps it all together uh, when you cook it. And the first thing we're gonna do to them is brine them. Um, you can see it doesn't have skin. It's got skin on one side. Uh, what I do with the brine is do something simple. Today I'm using brown sugar, a little Tony's Cajun seasoning, some black pepper, and a few bay leaves. And always use good food safety rules when you're handling poultry. Uh, that's why I've got these gloves on. But I've, I've already got my brine made up. Got it chilled with some ice. Put it in a little bowl. That's a trick to keep it from spilling all over your refrigerator. If I get this thing to cooperate, we're going to throw this breast down in here. Let it soak real good. And it needs to soak for about six hours, but it won't hurt to let it go overnight. I'm going to stick this in the fridge, and after it sits a while, I'll fire up the cooker, and I'll show you how we're going to season it up and the process for smoking. All right, now it comes the second step of this uh, boneless turkey. And I've had it brining for about six hours. I take it out of the brine and let it drip good. And you can see it's already started uh, soaking up some of the flavors from the brine. The meat kind of changes color a little bit. And that's exactly what we want it. I got my cooker fired up outside and while it's warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and season this breast up. And what I did, I took a stick of real salted butter, melted it in this aluminum pan on top of the stove. And I'm gonna put the breast in, bottom side first and kind of move it around. And then I'm gonna flip it over get the top side real good. I'm going to season both sides. And what I'm using today, this is a seasoning that I like to use on turkeys. And it's basically uh, a kosher salt mixed with granulated garlic, some poultry seasoning. It's got some black pepper in it, a little bit of cayenne. But the main flavors is the garlic and the salt that's in it. It's accented with the others. But I'll season both sides pretty good. And this kind of goes along with the Tony's and the brine as well it gives it the same flavor but i roll it around in that butter so that everything will stick real good and it'll make some flavor on this outside of it and i'm actually going to start it out in this butter bath i'm going to put just another stick of butter in here to bring it on up a lot of times i'm doing two breasts and it'll fill it'll fill up the pan you don't want it the butter to get completely over it but it needs to come up on the side a little bit it'll kind of keep it tender but that's the breast seasoned up and now we're going to take it out and put it on the smoker. Um, it'll cook at about 275 until it gets to 165 in the breast. Um, usually it's about two hours, two and a half, something like that. But I start watching it after about the hour and 45 minute mark just to get a gauge of where I am. I'm going to use a little bit of cherry wood and I'm going to get this thing on the grill and I'll tell you a little bit about it. All right, now I've got my cooker right where I want it. It's Right between 275, 300 degrees, got a little bit of light smoke coming out, some little, little bit, just a touch of cherry wood on one of these drums. It don't take a whole lot, but I went ahead and uh, put a little extra butter in the pan and also hit it up with just a touch of the barbecue rub just to add another little layer of flavor on it. And we're going to let this dude smoke for about an hour and 45 minutes. I'm going to come back and probe it with my thermo pen and, and check and see where we're at. All right, I've had this breast on for about an hour now in the butter bath. What I'm gonna do now is take it out. I've done got, got it started good, and I like to just take it out and put it right on the grate. Give me some good straight grate flavor from it. I do this with my chicken too, after I cook them in the butter bath. They'll go partial time in the bath, but eventually they got to go right back on the grate and set them back up. This is gonna make it uh, bark up a little bit better on the outside, get that skin nice and uh, bite through like we want it for turkey and it'll be really good. All right, it was about two hours and 10 minutes on the cooker and pulled out my thermo pen and checked this turkey breast and it was right where I wanted it, 165 degrees. Um, what I did was brought it inside and took my scissors and cut away the netting that had it wrapped up. It formed a you know a nice little piece of meat there and um, what we do is just let it rest because if you go to cutting in it, you're going to lose all your juice and it's probably going to pick up about five degrees sitting here resting, but that's right in the range where we want turkey breast and um, it's a real easy technique. Uh, Brian's going to give it plenty of flavor and use some little rub on it. Use that butter bath technique to get it nice and moist while it cooks and it'll turn out perfect every time. Uh, we're just going to enjoy it here in just a few minutes.